Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. In today's video, I will do a follow-up to the video I did last week, which were about how to make a 15 seconds commercial. I did get some nice comments on that somebody really liking the video and also I got a question and that is if I want to share how I did do the editing and of course I want to share that. All of the editing were done in DaVinci Resolve 17 and uh, I'll show you what I did right now. So let's uh, jump into DaVinci Resolve. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. Um, of course, we can just have a quick look at the edit. So if you look at the timeline itself, it is not very complicated at all. But um, first off, let's just kill all the sounds I have here. So I'm going to mute all my sound effects. And then I'll just take you through what I did. So the first shot I have is this shot here with the donuts being put on a tray. And uh, the, the way I actually did that. Now this is a compound clip, so I'm just going to right click on that and I'm going to open in another timeline so you can see what I actually did. So the way I shot this was I put the uh, slider and then I made it move, do the same movements over and over again. And every time it has done one circle of the movement, I just put in another donut. And uh, that's what I did. And I just cut out all of the bits and pieces I didn't need. So I have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cuts. And instead of having seven cuts in my timeline, I just did a compound clip in DaVinci Resolve, making it way more easy to manage. So if I want to go out of my compound clip, I'm just going to go down here and on timeline, I'm going to double click and I'll be right back. So basically that was how I did the first shot. The second shot is a probe shot and there's nothing special in that at all. So it's just a regular cut put down. Uh, the third shot is this toss and uh, I did do a little bit of speed ramp on that. If we go into the inspector here, um, going to speed change, you see I actually shot this in 60 frames a second and then I did take down a little bit of the speed so it was a little bit more slow. Um, and that's basically all there is to this shot. The next shot is the this donut flying shot here. What I actually have here, if I go into the media pool and I'll go into shots, this, the only the shot I had of a donut were actually this shot right here, this shot right here. As you see, it's just a donut turning around and actually it's not even in the right position. So what I did do was um, I um, took the donut and I flipped the image. If we go over to the inspector here, we can see that I did change the position. I did make it a lot smaller. And then I also did some rotation angle to flip or to move the, to move the position of the donuts and that as well. And more or less, that is all there is. And then I have a solid color underneath. I'm just going to take that out. And the main reason I did have a solid color underneath in this blue color is because I used an effect on the, the donut shot here. So if I go into the inspector under effects, uh, you'll see that I did use a 3D keyer here and I did just key out the blue background and uh, changed something in the matte finesse and making it look a little nicer. Then I did do a garbage mat and I did do an ellipse tool on that. Which I think if we go over here, we can actually see what I did. So I did do an ellipse tool on that and uh, it goes so fast you hardly can't see it. So, but I did do a um, ellipse tool to basically take away this, the sticks I had in the side. So I just masked that out pretty fast. And then of course, if we put on a blue background like that, uh, that looks pretty much like it should. 
So um, for the next shot, which is this shot, um, shot on the macro, I don't think I have that shot right here. And as you see, that is of course rotating in the wrong direction. So I did just, again, if we're going to, I did zoom it in quite a bit to be way closer. And I did change the position and then I did a rotation angle so it would flip the right way. So that's how I did that. And uh, for this shot, I actually took the exact same thing I had here, um, did a new mask and um, I don't know if you can see that, but I actually tried to do this shot where I did the same stick movement um, with a camera shooting above down, but that didn't really work out. So I actually just ended up by taking the clean plate I did for that shot, which is just a plate out of focus. Um, Actually, if we go into the compound, because I did do a compound clip here, you can see what I did. So uh, for this clip, again, I did do, um, for the first part of the clip at least, I did do, again, um, some position and I did change the speed so it would run 3000 times faster because it was actually on a lazy Susan just spinning around and that was way too slow. Um, so again, to move the sticks, I did the same technique. Again, green screening the effect out here. And again, with a 3D keyer. So I also did add in a lens blur. And that is because if you see it run, it'll go from being in focus till out of focus. Um, and that's just to match the plate I had and then this shot here actually is from the original shot I had where I had taken out the sticks here from this shot here um, and uh, I kind of just let it um, hit the same spot and then I just changed the um, in, in this clip here I just went in and uh, and used a lens blur and again animated the lens blur controls. As you can see it goes pretty fast from out of focus to focus and that is actually how I made that shot. Again, doing a mask around the donut in the first shot. Again, if we go into the, to my keyer and into my effects, you can see that the, the, here we have the donut effect again following the donut. That's basically how I did that shot. Again, go down to timeline here and we'll go out. For the next shot we have here was that shot. For the next shot it is actually the finishing shot. So originally I did this shot with a slider, a motorized slider moving backwards and I put in a cup and I started to pour off coffee but that shot was too long so I had to take off the part where I actually put down the cup because otherwise it would be more than the seconds that I wanted it to be. So what I actually did for this shot here is on the original shot I'll um, for instance, if we look in this shot, I have some steam coming up of the cup, but on the original cup, the coffee was actually cold because uh, it took me too long time to set up and uh, the coffee was just cold. So I wanted some kind of a steam coming up and um, if I just, it's going to take away my text here. Uh, if I go into Fusion, you, I'll actually show you what I did. So here in Fusion, uh, all I did was I have my media in here and on my media out here, and then I put in a merge node. And on that end, I have some fast noise and a polygon. And the polygon is, if I take the polygon, you can see up here that that is just the shape of where I want my, um, my steam to go. Otherwise, if I didn't put in a polygon, you'll see there'll be steam all over the place and I didn't want that. So that's just controlling where the steam is. And then I did in the fast noise some different settings and I did a, some keyframes to making the smoke move upwards. 
And if you really want to know more about how to use this fast noise, I did do a couple of tutorials about that, so you can check that out as well. Um, so that is basically what I did for the effect part of this little tutorial here, making that sting. So just put in my... And then of course I also did some color grading and of course I did that in the color tab and it is not a very special grade at all. Uh, it's, it's super basic actually, it's as you see it's really a basic grade, nothing it's too special, it's just more or less the overall look from the first note here. And then I have some lift and some saturations and stuff like that. Nothing too fancy. It is also just some very fast shots, so I just wanted it to look um, nice in the color. So that's actually all I did. So it's not a very complicated edit and I didn't do a lot of different layers and stuff like that because I didn't think it actually needed that. So this was just a super quick look at how I did the edit for that video. I do hope this will help somebody out. Let me know down in the comments below if you want more kinds of these videos and also if you have some products you want me to do a product video about. I think it could be kind of fun and then maybe I'll do more about the editing part and stuff like that and the thoughts I had while editing. I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out and if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.